I'm Tam with the Scope with your solar storm forecast update for September 9th. Now wouldn't you know it, as soon as I get my video finalized, the sun does this. Pow! Right there, a gorgeous M4.5 class flare from region 2158. Now it has launched what we think is an earthward directed solar storm. You can see in that clip right there, all the dimming region around the bright area. That is something tearing off the sun and it does look to be earth directed. So now 2158, although it had not been a flare producer in a while, started showing some complexity recently. So we have been watching it. Switching to coronagraphs, it looks like that solar storm is actually ejected off to the west, but looking at differences images, you can see that this green region, that's the halo that's all the way around the sun, which does mean that this thing looks like it's Earth directed, but we are waiting for prediction models to help confirm this and get some idea of the arrival time. Updating your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities this week. I'm going to go out on a limb, even though prediction models for this storm are not available yet, but say that because it looks to be pretty fast, it should hit us around the 12th, so I'm giving us about a 25% chance of a major storm uh, at high latitudes into the 12th and the 13th, and a 20% chance of a minor storm at mid latitudes. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook for this week, I'm going to keep everything the same, but I wouldn't be surprised if NOAA decides to up the uh, M-class and X-class flare risk over the course of this week, depending upon what 2158 does. So what we thought was once going to be just a mildly disturbed week has suddenly gotten very exciting. We have that solar storm en route, which should reach us around the 12th or the 13th. So expect that your GPS and your satellite phone or satellite internet services might be a bit disrupted. Also, you ham radio operators expect some disruptions and possibly some radio blackouts if we get more M-class flares or possibly X-class flares. But meanwhile, expect to have some gorgeous aurora coming your way. Uh, so you solar storm chasers and aurora hunters, get your cameras out because uh, this might present another beautiful opportunity. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.